Hello Cancerian friends and welcome to the Immaterial Garden for your weekly reading. Thank you so much for showing up for the channel, likes, comments, shares, and subscribes, all that good stuff. Everything you really need to know about this session is listed down below in the description box, including astrological energies for today, the month of February, who this reading may resonate with, as well as the link to the cross-watching channel where we do uh, readings from the perspective of the other person every Wednesday, okay? All right, this is a special edition. We're going to be exploring the energies of Mercury retrograde in the sign of Aquarius. Also going to focus on protection against negative influences, whether internal internal or external, that may be coming back or coming back around, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Let's see, what is the means or the, the medium or means through which this negative influence or energy may come back towards you, okay? What is the method or the means? We're also going to pull another card here where we're going to see what is the um what is the target area or what is the area of your life that may be the most affected or may be targeted by this negative energy whether it is being sent to you from someone else or it is originating from within you okay all right let's also see what is the freaking motivation why is this negative energy acting up why is it um why is it waking up now? What does it want from you? You know, is this a test? Is this an internal trial? Or is this, you know, just uh, someone with bad intentions trying to send their bad mojo new to you? All right, let's also see... Well, we'll, we'll start unpacking this, and then we're going to maybe focus in to see specifically what sign or energy you might be sending you might be interacting with here and then also we will uh, go into some messages take away guidance and hopefully prepare you for this mercury retrograde season this cycle will last it started january 30th and will last until february 20th okay all right so first of all let's see what is the method or means we do have dowsing rods seeker so here it looks like someone is looking for information about about you so if there is anything that you are that you don't necessarily want the public to see or you don't necessarily want someone to be able to suss out about you I think it's very important that you focus on trying to clear those things maybe uh, could most likely be like online so if there's any like if you're on any websites if you're in any articles if you are you know if you have old accounts that have your picture whatever it is I feel like it's really important for you to go back and kind of start cleansing or purifying or getting rid of or deleting those excess accounts and also things that you don't want other people having access to because even if you feel like it's pretty well hidden or there's no links between your usernames or something like that someone is actively seeking which means it's a lot easier for someone to find something when they're looking for it as opposed to yeah you're probably not gonna someone's probably not gonna randomly run into this information but i feel like someone's looking for it okay maybe this has to do with scam artists or maybe this has to do with fishing because the dowsing rods even though that's not fishing it does make me think about fishing maybe someone's fishing for information or someone's fishing for more information it might be they're trying to get access to your you know your accounts to your money to whatever it is okay but there is something with this idea of someone is actively seeking and if you don't want them to find something make sure it's not there okay for some of you also you probably want to start this process as quickly as possible because you don't know how long it will take for a, for instance a website if you request taking your photos down or something like that you don't know how long it's going to take for them to get back to you but i feel like this is something that you might want to focus in on during mercury retrograde cycle this cycle because i feel like if you act now you can probably minimize or you can avoid some sort of damages or embarrassment or something like that okay also for some of you i just feel like this really is about phishing data phishing so I don't know if before, if you previously might have gotten burned or scammed, might have had someone um, rip you off or something, just be careful because I feel like these I feel like there's the energy of another con artist or some other ballsy motherfucker that's about to come around trying to see if they can pull one over on you. So just be really careful with that as well, Cancerian. But I feel like also um, this kind of tells me in terms of uh, energetic or magical work, n n someone is in a planning period. They're doing infiltration right now. They're doing recon. So we don't know what necessarily they want to do with that information later or what kind of uh, will work or spell work someone might be interested in. And, um, 
performing at that time but right now they are doing like divination they are you know they are uh reading cards they are looking at your astrology they are looking at a lot of things relevant to you if this is coming from a magical context but we don't yet know what their plan will be yet okay maybe we'll get a better idea sorry let me knock the table around uh, maybe we'll get a better idea as we reveal this card which is basically uh what area of your life or what is it that this negative energy is trying to influence for some of you i'm gonna just be full transparency it looks like sometimes when you're looking for trouble you will find it or when you're looking for misery or woe you will find it so just be careful cancerian that if this is not your internal energy that this isn't you trying to overread into a situation making things very complex in order to you know confuse yourself and kind of screw you out of some screw yourself out of something that's good for you or meant for you okay if that is a behavior that you've had in the past or a mentality that you've had in the past and you're not dealing with an external person or energy that very well could be what is going to be challenging during this time of mercury retrograde all right uh here we have high priestess of earth energy so it looks like someone most likely they are trying to affect your finances okay so with earth that is tangible goods material wealth also here that could be earth sign energy so perhaps someone uh, that you're dealing with they could be a taurus virgo or capricorn or perhaps cancerian you could have taurus virgo or capricorn in your chart if you have taurus virgo or capricorn in your chart please note which houses you have this energy because those are most likely the the areas that you are vulnerable to someone getting your information or getting at your information this also could be a signifier because each of those represent their own house taurus the second house representing our money and our possessions our work our income uh virgo represented our you know our health our our fitness our um our work habits organization all right and then also the 10th house which is our career our long-term goals our legacy work and that sort of thing so really i feel like they're trying to affect the health of your finances or steal some of your abundance or wealth so be on the lookout for that energy especially scammer energy but also maybe also robbing yourself out of a good experience or a good outcome because you keep wanting to try to match up you know the, the time that it didn't work out and you keep comparing it to that time okay freaking yourself out all right also for some of you maybe you're over involved with trying to divine the future if you have been watching you know if you have just been watching like tarot readings back to back if you have just been like obsessed with like the energies astrologically whatever i feel like it's time for you to take a rest from that just take a step back just to get some perspective and to get some grounding in, okay with this priestess high priestess of earth energy all right let's go ahead and see what why why is this person trying to do this or why is this energy coming back around why is this being triggered in you we do have we have hope all right so it is possible that maybe someone especially if they were a scammer or something like that maybe they wanted you to feel a false sense of security they wanted you to feel like they weren't going to come after you or they weren't going to mess with your you know whatever it is your money your finances your reputation or whatever it is because maybe they didn't want you to see them coming or they didn't, they didn't want you to be prepared for them okay but I feel like there is something here where it's like maybe also in the grand scheme of things, maybe this is part of, you know, sometimes when you go fishing, you don't automatically pull the line out of the out of the river or, or out of the water. OK, you reel it in. So maybe this is also they gave you some sort of sense, false sense of security or some sort of period so that they could reel it in, you know, so that they could prepare for tier two or, you know, the next level or whatever it is. All right. If this is um, if this is your energy and you are essentially self-sabotaging because you are you keep trying to find how you're gonna fail even though you're succeeding then that is what it, you know that's what your own shadow your own primordial energy is working against it's working against your hope it's trying to uh, obscure or trying to hide your hope from you okay H trying to hide your you know your confidence or you know obscure your confidence in the situation that you know this is meant for you that good things can happen to you cancerian don't don't rain on your own parade is what i'm getting here ultimately all right all right let's go ahead and take a look here if you're dealing i mean this seems a little this seems pretty straightforward to me let's go ahead and see if you are dealing with a scammer or if you're dealing with a third party or an outside person that is basically trying to 
affect you or through your money or trying to take money from you that is not theirs let's go ahead and see what is the um what's the energy behind this person let's focus in on their energy or their sign okay or their situation here we have the five of cups energy five of cups this is mars in scorpio energy could be someone that either has aries placements or scorpio placements all right also could be someone that feels like you defeated them or you bested them you outsmarted them and i feel like for whatever reason this person did attach like pride to this even if sometimes even if this is not the type of person that typically takes something personally for whatever reason they took whatever you did or whatever you said personally maybe they took the fact that you you outsmarted them for round one maybe they took that very personally but they're definitely coming in to return the favor i feel like this is a card where it's like all they have to freaking do is look behind them, take the two fucking cups that are standing there, and get on with their dang life. But they want to stare at the three cups that are spilled. They want to stare at three, the number of manifestation, what they could not manifest. And why? Because you got in their way. Or because you foiled their plan. Or because you had insight. Or because you were able to, you know prevent them from screwing you over whatever it is but there's definitely an energy of revenge here retaliation maybe because you know either it was you foiled their plans or they got they feel like they were rejected because of you that's also something that could be there okay what do we have at the bottom of the deck we do have the uh six of swords energy mercury and aquarius and of course right now mercury is in retrograde in the sign of aquarius these energies are very relevant to you so if again if you have things that you don't want find people to find you know make sure that they're removed or make sure that you deal with them accordingly but at the same time i, I do feel like here there is um there is someone coming back for you know a round two or to reel you in or i don't know you have to you have to fortify ground yourself secure yourself against this person or against this uh fishing for your information all right all right let's go ahead and take a look here we're gonna see what is the guidance what is the guidance for our cancerian friends especially for the next seven days but also probably through mercury retrograde possibly uh six weeks after into the post retrograde shadow okay for the sign of cancer all right, Cancerian, we do have the Fool card energy. So here with the Fool card energy, it feels like, you know, another round, round two. Fool card energy is can be really lovely because it can be about new beginnings, fresh starts. But I kind of feel like someone is starting the, the, the foolery again, okay? Or starting the fuckery again is what I'm getting. This is Uranus energy. It's also Aquarius and Aries energy. You know, Uranus energy, um, it can be unpredictable or it can be unstable okay but i feel like someone i they're not going to come back in the same approach i feel like they're gonna they have a novel approach they have another way that they're going to approach this another area that they're going to try to um maybe uh, fish your information from or something like that so if for instance before if they got your if they got you from like social media for instance or something like that and then they like tried to learn about you and tried to scam you they're not going to come you know through the same platform they might not even come through the same way they might come at you in a different way were like like before they might have posed as like someone from social media now they're posing as someone from the bank do you know what i'm saying like they're they're like changing i see someone literally changing a mask so they're they're taking off one mask and putting on another so essentially the 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 intention of separating you separating a fool from their money is the same but they're wearing a different face they're using a different strategy so be alert because you might be hyper vigilant in one area so for instance like maybe if someone got into like your your uh your email account okay before maybe you got hyper vigilant about you know double often you know uh double authentic authentication for your email but then maybe you never like took any additional measures towards your bank account or towards your facebook or towards your instagram or your twitter you know what i mean so that's something to, to look out for this is the full card energy it's like the things that you don't see coming okay why because you're walking on air because you know you might be going through right now it might be things might be going very well for you as well okay if it's internal energy that's triggered then it's partly because maybe you're afraid you can't keep this up that's kind of what i'm getting you've turned a new leaf you have made it to the next level but as you continue just be careful make make sure that you are being honest with yourself about how you're dealing with the new challenges you know don't take on too much too quickly because there could be the feeling of i made it i did it and then like how the fuck do i maintain this okay 
So that's also something to look out for. Also here, it could be like losing your head. So just be careful, like if someone is trying to like, I feel like it could be something foolish that you do or something absent-minded that you do that gives this person access to your account or to your information. So just make sure you're not doing anything kind of, I don't know, just, you know, silly things that you might do, all right? Uh, like like writing your password down, you know, and writing it down on a piece of paper and like taping it to your monitor, okay? Like if you're like, if especially if you work with other people, you know, and other people are around to see that. I mean, stuff like that, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What is um, additional messages for our Cancerian friends for Mercury Retrograde? We have Justice card energy. Yeah, I feel like whatever it is, you were chosen for something or you were chosen over someone or you might have seek you might have sought justice against this scammer or you might have given them what you believe was justice or poetic justice. Be really careful because they never forgot it and I feel like they are still sore about it. That's what I'm getting. So they might even double down, be even more, um, they might be putting even more brain power into scamming you or fucking you over. But ultimately, I don't know, it's kind of like, you know, I kind of feel like maybe this person, maybe they're not the uh, sharpest crayon in the box, you know what I mean? Like maybe, maybe like their version of, of um, you know, bring in, <laughs> taking you to the mattresses might be like child's play to you, who knows? But don't ever underestimate your opponent. Don't ever underestimate someone who's who has malicious intent that's trying to outmaneuver you, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here at additional messages. We also have the Four of Vessels. Four of Vessels, Moon in Cancer energy. Some of you could have the Moon in Cancer placement, but I do feel like here... Uh, yeah, I feel like the, the Four of Vessels is showing me... Maybe you even things were boring, things have been uneventful, maybe you even forgot about this person, or you forgot about this, this scam, or whatever it is, but it just feels like, yeah, it feels like this is something that went really quiet, no, it could also be, you know, maybe someone that had, went, went no communication with you, or something like that, maybe it could even be like a family member, or a lover that cut you off, that might have also taken some of your freaking money before, whatever it is, it's like suddenly, there, after a, after a pause, it's like they're back, this person, or this scammer, they might have been gone for I'm gonna say probably anywhere from four I'm gonna say four months but it could be anywhere from four weeks to four months the last time you've heard from this person or from this scammer or the last time you've seen scammer activity or fraudulent you know um, suspected fraudulent activity on your bank accounts or something like that but there's this is definitely affecting you in the financial sector especially in the next seven days but could be up until February 20th and possibly expanding six weeks after into the pre-retrograde shadow okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here we also have Queen of Arrows energy. This is Libra energy again with the minor resonance in Virgo. Queen of Arrows though, that is someone who is bitter as fuck. That is a salty ass person. That is someone coming in to take what they could not take from you before and they are coming in with a vengeance. For some of you, this could be an ex-spouse. So if you are in if you are in court with your ex-spouse, they might be coming back with a counter offer or counter suit. They might be asking for more support or whatever it is. But I feel like you didn't have to deal with them for quite some time. Maybe, I mean, maybe they had the decency not to try to fight you over money like during COVID and lockdown and, you know, like all this shit happening. But whatever it is, they feel emboldened. They're ready to come and get what they feel like they're entitled to is what I'm getting. For some of you, I don't know. I do get the sense of a scammer scorned and that person there, I don't know. Maybe they took it as a, as a professional sort of like, <laughs> as a professional challenge or something, okay? What do we have at the bottom of the deck? We have the Eight of Vessels energy. Eight of Vessels, which is Saturn in Pisces energy. This is the energy of walking away. Yeah, I feel like this person, they deceptively made you think that they had walked away, but really they've been planning. This is also the, the card of research. So again, with that seeker energy, this person is actively seeking for vulnerabilities of in your information especially to get at your finances, but also maybe just, you know, also as a way of getting even because you got chosen for something that they didn't or you have something that they don't have, okay? All right, thank you so much, friends. Please join me again. Gratitude to the divine, to you and all of creation.